I was introduced to Quentin approximately two months after he was born. He was the godson of my daughter. Quentin was 10 years old. He would have been 11 in August, and Quentin was the quintessential little boy. Uh, even despite his challenges, despite the disability, he was pure boy. He enjoyed teasing his sisters, he enjoyed teasing his new baby brother, and his one of the most favorite things he had was balloons. Quentin could be in a very, very bad mood or just not feeling well, and you bring out a balloon, and Quentin just went ballistic almost. He would lighten up and just be all excited because of a balloon. Um, his laugh, he had the best laugh. It was really, really, really loud, and then it would get really silent, and he would just shake. And he also loved girls. He had two girlfriends and special kids. That was pretty cute. I'm Stephanie Gaynor, and I'm under special kids, and um, I worked there with Quentin for 10 years. Today in the celebration of Quentin's life, and as he has left this earth, we released balloons because balloons were his favorite activity. He was not a flower person, guess typical little boy. In just respect and remembrance of him, his mom requested that everything be representative of the essence of Quentin. And balloons are the essence of Quentin. The freedom of them, the releasing of them, just the pure joy of a balloon. Quentin, he was just good at life. He was always joyful. Um, and he never ever cried except for after the last bite of Little Debbie. Um, other than that, he was always happy and having fun and just, just great. He was just great. I would like to say to the community that we cannot let challenges stop us. We cannot get boiled down and brawled down into what the problems we have around us that Quentin represent the way we should live life. Because Quentin did not let his physical disabilities bother him. He did not let the fact that he could not always express himself bother him. But he reached out in love to everybody. And I want to think the family should know that people loved him. That he was not a pity case. He was not somebody people looked at and felt sorry for. They absolutely loved him. Uh, I know that special kids was a major, major part of his life and he grew so much from that. And the family needs to know that even though their lives will never be the same and the pain is there, the pain will lessen, the joy will enter because Quentin has left a mark on this world that people in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s don't do. He's left an indelible mark and a mark that is of joy and love and just pure pleasure. Quentin was was loved. He everyone in the community knew him. Um, even his mom was saying she didn't realize how many people knew him when she went to talk to a place about having t-shirts made and um, they were like, oh yeah, I know your son, um, I've met him at Special Kids, and um, anyone that met him that came and toured through Special Kids, he was always a kid that just stuck out, like he was sociable and hilarious, and um, I mean, he was just really loved. He was really loved, not just by his family and not just by Special Kids, but by the whole community.